Hello everyone, welcome back to the Hobart Bay Sports Network. I am your host Justin Winter, and today we're going on the road to the Michigan Wolverines who Lee Corso favors to beat us today. Bold choice by Lee, but we shall see if he is correct. I doubt he will be. Uh, our first game was subpar in offense and good on defense. That was actually the case for both teams, now that I look at it. They're led by Lionel Thompson in the backfield, who I guess last year must have... Oh, wait, no, that's this year. Whoops. All right, last year he did pretty good. This year he's got 88 yards, no touchdowns. Honestly, underwhelmed by that. He's got good speed, but really, if we're being honest, it's the O-line that makes the running back. Let's just be honest. And then Patrick Wallace, last week, underwhelming. Wow. Last week, he only went 12 for 25, 151 yards, two touchdowns, and two picks. Yeah, I'm not sold on this team. I don't think they're it. Welcome to Ann Arbor, Michigan, home of the Michigan Wolverines, the stadium nicknamed the Big House. The Wolverines come in today ranked number 10 in the nation, and they hope to play an upset against the number two Hobart Bay Ones. Hobart Bay has moved up two spots since the preseason. Michigan has moved up three spots. Quite a lot of turbulence early on. However, it makes for a great top 10 matchup in a spectacular venue. We will have to see who comes out on top here in the big house. Hobart Bay is set to kick off first. So, from Ann Arbor, we have kickoff from Mike Holloway, and that ball will go through the uprights. I still say we should get a point for that. And this week, we do not lose our scoreboard for the first quarter. I'm very thankful for that. As Wallace is looking to throw, he goes to the left, and that one is caught right there by Sam Green. Great sideline catch. Now they're bringing in some strong formation. Maybe an adjustment. Handoff, Thompson. He gets met in the backfield by David Nelson. He was not fooled on that one. He said, nope, I'll come right in here and take you down. Third down and 14, that's the pie down. Wallace looking to throw, he goes. He's got Jordan and he is way short of that first down marker. All right, Hobart Bay with a good defensive stand to stop. Can their offense get something going? Third down and six doesn't uh, lend itself that much to good offense. And that one's caught by Jenkins. Great catch, that one almost could have been intercepted. He just reached out his hand a little bit more. Now I have formation on first down, bringing Anderson in motion. It's an end around to him. He's got room to run. He's got the first down and he's tackled at the 45. Ken Anderson, you don't see him get many runs because he's a receiver, but he comes in big there. Now we got Kale Snow in the game, a little play action, and he throws off his back foot, and it's intercepted by Long. What in the world happened there? I thought he'd set his feet. Guess not, Wildcat now for Michigan. Thompson keeps in, DeChambeau meets him right behind the line. Loss of two for Michigan. There you go, Felix. He's been waiting his entire career here. This is his first year starting, He's a senior. Now Thompson picks up only three yards on third down. Obar Bay is going to get the ball right back. So the interception, it's nullified. First down and ten. Brett Stone looking for something. He swings it out. Got John Gordon. And he gets taken down after a gain of seven. Still a good play. Now second down and three. Kale Snow is back into the game. Just going to hand it off to John Gordon this time. As he does a business run for a first down. Now we got, we still got Kale Snow in there, all right. Giving him some redemption, maybe. He will throw to the right, and that's caught by Bentley Zwiebel. The defender missed. He missed, but uh, this was not like the Minneapolis miracle where he knocked out his own teammate. Now second down and five. Handoff, John Gordon. First down and more. Looking, he's down inside the five. That's what we love to see. First down and goal. Same personnel in there. And uh, Gordon. <laughs> oh, man. What in the world did he just do? He just ended that man's entire career. I mean, did you see that? It was fantastic. He's running and then boom. Nope. You're going away. Oh, that was a thing of beauty. Michigan ball now. They're just going to hand off to Thompson. 
And he's going to... Oh, he picked up nine yards. It's a lot better than I thought he would do. But uh, that's going to end the first quarter here in Ann Arbor. Hobart Bay leads number 10, Michigan, 7 to nothing. Second quarter begins with a second down and one for the Wolverines. Heavy set in there. And off to Thompson. He gets the first down. They get a business run. We don't see many of those from them. Second down and ten now. Ace formation here. Play action from Wallace. He throws it back to Thompson only to get tackled immediately. Great play design, Michigan. Great play design. Third down and 13. Obviously, Hobart Bay is going to drop plenty of guys into coverage. Wallace throws it. That's caught by Moore, but he goes out of bounds. Before he can get to that first down marker, they give us the ball back. Split backfield now here as Brett Stone is back in the game. He keeps on this option, and he will pitch it out eventually to John Gordon, who gets 10 yards, actually. I thought he was a yard shorter than that, but they gave it to him. Third down and 10 now for Hobart Bay. Brett Stone looking to throw. He's rolling out. We've seen a lot of that recently. And it's incomplete. Almost intercepted by Anthony Mullins. Hobart Bay is going to give the ball back. Brett Stone is only 2 for 7 on passing today. First down and 10. Hand off to Thompson. And he gets absolutely nothing. Less than nothing, if anything. Second down and 10 now for Michigan. What's the play call? They're going to throw now. Wallace? No, he's going to run. He breaks the tackle of Jeff Walker. Has room. And he coughs up the football. It's picked up by Caleb Bradshaw. He's got some blocks and eventually he runs out of room. But what a play. What a play by the defense. Not giving up. You do not give up. And now we have the ball back. Trips left with Gordon Jenkins on the right. It's a keeper for Brett Stone. Cuts left. And he picks up nine yards, making it a third down and short. One yard to go. I don't imagine we'll do anything too fancy here. Indeed we don't. It's a fullback dive to Chris Oliver. Got to give the fullback some love. First down and ten now. Brett Stone looking for a throw. He will roll out again. Looking for something. And he throws. It's caught by Gordon Jenkins. And he gets the first down. Hey, if it works, it works. Now third down and eight. Three receivers and Joda Joannon is back in the game. I'm going to go with a little screen now to John Gordon, but uh, the blocks don't hold up that time. Michigan read that one pretty well. So that brings about fourth down, and we're going to send on the field goal team, but we're going to fake it, and Kale Snow gets it out to Joda Joannon for a walk-in touchdown. We failed to do that play properly twice in the Rose Bowl against Ohio State, but this is why we try it. Because when it works, it works. No one was there to guard Jodo Joannon, and he just he had a leisurely stroll into the end zone is what he had. Now the question is, can Michigan recover from that? They're down 14-0. They need something to go right right now. Wallace gets... Oh, he broke the sack instead. And he, that kind of looked unnatural. I'm not sure. Maybe he's doing some freaky voodoo in the pregame because uh, some of that just didn't look natural. Second down and two now. Wallace looking to throw. He just gets it out and caught by Jordan. Timothy Paulson was there along with, I think that's Felix DeChambeau. Now first down and ten for the Wolverines. Wallace will throw again. No, he decides to run again instead. He takes the tackle. Gain of six yards. It's a respectable run. Here's your first time out. That's right. We're almost at the end of the half. Wallace going to run again. He breaks the tackle somehow. And he's down at about the 30. What is it about opposing quarterbacks and being able to break more tackles than their running backs? It doesn't make any sense. Wallace now trying to throw again. He does throw this time. And that's caught by Sam Green. Impressive sideline catch. This guy can catch anything that's on the sideline. Now second down and nine. Just over a minute left. It's a keeper for Thompson. That Wildcat failed miserably again. Don't know why they try it. Third down and nine. They got a proper quarterback in there this time. Wallace will look to throw. He goes over the middle, caught by Thompson, but he is short of the first down marker. Obar Bay calls a timeout. 
And Michigan sends on their field goal team. And that kick is right through. No doubt about it. And that will make the game an 11-point game. So with 49 seconds left, we've scored in much less time before. Brett Stone rolling out. He's looking for someone. He's patient. And his patience does pay off. A 40-yard catch to John Gordon. A little bit to the left, and he could have gotten way more. Even so, second down of four. He gets John Gordon, and he's out before he goes to the first down marker. Interesting. Now third down and one, making an adjustment at the line. Brett Stone will throw. He gets it out. Caught by Ken Anderson in a foot race, and he's in. Touchdown, Hobart Bay. Another drive with less than a minute to go, and we come up with the touchdown. We've been doing pretty good at the end of the first half this year. I hope we can be consistent with this. I mean, hey, giving less than a minute to go and driving down and scoring a touchdown, if we can do that consistently, that will break the morale of any team. So at the end of two quarters, number two Hobart Bay leads number 10 Michigan by 18 points. I would say that we have definitely seen an improvement in the Hobart Bay offense. 21 points in the first half this week as opposed to in the entire game last week. Defense also seems to be getting pretty good as well. I mean, last week they were pretty good, but this week they've been forcing turnovers when normally we wouldn't. We did get an interception at the end of the half, by the way, but it didn't matter. Now we get the ball to start off the third quarter. Brett Stone will hand off to John Gordon, who gets sizable space. It's nine yards. That's a good way to start things off. Now third down and one, going with some eye formation. It's not glamorous, but it will work as John Gordon picks up a solid eight yards. Even better. Second down and nine, still in the eye formation. Hand off again to John Gordon. Oh my goodness, he got upended like never before. And he just gets back up like a champ. What a man. What an absolute man. Third down and 10 now. I'm gonna throw this time. He complete to Ken Anderson. Good throw by Brett Stone, now second down and nine. We have already used a ton of time. Wow, Brett Stone rolling out. He's probably going to run with it. He does. He has the first down, and he slides down. Perhaps he learned from last week. Or perhaps he only does it on occasion. Second down and nine, split backfield. Continuing to run a bunch of clock as it's a handoff to John Gordon. He has space, and he is short of the first down marker. I agree with that call. I thought they'd give it to him because of how lenient they often are. That's a keeper for Brett Stone. He could pitch back. He does. And to the detriment of the offense, we still got the first down, but even so. First down and 10 now. We've almost gone six minutes. Hand off to John Gordon. He has a first down, and he's down at about the 11. I think we could actually get another first down without getting into the end zone. Yeah. That's an empty backfield here. And hand off to Harris. He cuts inside and cut a little bit too much inside. He only got four. Could have had a lot more. Third down and five coming up. We're almost done with the quarter, my goodness. And we hand it off to John Gordon. He's going and he's into the end zone for the touchdown. That was an I don't know how many play drive. Seven minutes and... 30, no, 41 seconds. We spent almost the entire quarter on that drive. So, yeah, at the end of three quarters, we're up by 25 points. Michigan is going to get one chance, one chance, to pull the Patriots on us and for us to Falcons it. Wallace is going to take off here, and he will slide down. Gain of seven. Respectable decision. Even so, I'd be a bit more aggressive if I were them. Third down and two. Miller in motion. They hand it off to him, and he does not get the first down. He didn't get it. And they're going to punt. Wow, how very brave of you, Michigan. You're going to punt on fourth and inches when I'm down by 25 points. That's Randy Roberts, our new returner. He breaks off a tackle, and he will... That's a respectable return. 
Not sure that it matters all too much, though, as that will be the end of the game. Michigan surrender right there is what that was. And we wind up winning 28-3. Glad to see it. Perhaps not as exhilarating as normal, but John Gordon finally got underway as a proper Hobart Bay running back. And by proper, I mean 100 yards with at least a touchdown, I would hope, and then some good receiving stats as well. Of course, I say that's a proper Hobart Bay running back, but if I'm being honest, it's really only Tyree Nolan. Because uh, before Tyree Nolan, he didn't really have any 1,000-yard rushers, except for quarterbacks, and uh, that was not good for their health. So, yeah, we win today by 25 points. Road game against the number 10 team in the nation. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Hopefully we can keep this up. Michigan isn't just some overrated team that we happen to beat by a significant margin. However, for now, we can enjoy our victory, and we can enjoy it even more by going over the stats in the postgame show. Well, today, Brett Stone did better than last week. He went 10 for 19. Okay, no, he didn't do better than last week. 10 for 19, 137 yards, a touchdown, and a pick. Kale Snow did better than last week. 3 for 4, 65 yards, a touchdown, and another pick. Don't know why he threw off his back foot that one time. Gordon Jenkins got 108 yards, and we spread the ball around to everyone else. Putting a nice handoff to Ken Anderson, if I do say so myself. On the receiving end, no one shot out. It was John Gordon, actually, who led the team. Ken Anderson got two catches. Bentley Zwiebel got the 132-yarder. Joe Annan got 28 yards. Yep. And on the defensive side of the ball, it was David Nelson with six tackles, all of them solo. One for a loss. No, no sacks, but he did get an interception. That was very nice. Actually, it was the last play of the first half, so it didn't even matter. Quentin Long for them, eight tackles with a pick. Yeah, that's about all they could say. On the receiving end... Top receiver at 42 yards, that was Sam Green, 29 yards for Kevin Jordan. No touchdowns whatsoever on the ground, similarly disappointing. 78 yards for their quarterback, Patrick Mullis, but he did fumble one of those times. Yeah, they're just not impressive today. I mean, they did even worse, 13 for 15, 109 yards. No touchdowns and a pick. And the yardages in passing have just been astoundingly low this season. We tied them in turnovers. Aside from that, we beat them in everything. So, yeah. Next week, we have an easier opponent. We're going against a winless Stanford. Going on the road, too. I hope to see you there. But until then, make sure to like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, and have a nice day.